Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the MAC Paint Pots. Now this was requested by, okay, I'm going to say this wrong, so I am sorry to you, the person that requested this, but I know I'm going to say this wrong, but anyway, it was requested by Babu Louie one I am most likely wrong on that, but whatever. And she wanted to know if MAC paint pots were worth it. These are MAC paint pots. I have two. Um, first things first, let me answer your question. Yes, they are worth it. Um, I love paint pots. They're basically just like eyeshadow bases. Um, they work as a cream eyeshadow as well. They're really supposed to be met meant to be cream eyeshadows but people use them as bases and then people are using them as primers and yeah so I use them as a primer pretty much every day it's either that or my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion um, I have two one I use a lot more than the other one but for only a few reasons um yeah so I'll just give you a review on the ones that I own the first one I have is Rubenesque, and that's what it's spelled like. Um, my U kind of wore away a little bit, but it says Rubenesque. And this is what it looks like here. The packaging looks like this. It's like glass on plastic, twists up, and there's your paint pot. Um, this is Rubenesque, obviously. It's a basically a like a gold color with red um like undertones in it and it's got shimmer in it let's see if i can close up on that not really um but yes yeah, so this one when it's swatched it looks like this um just a really nice color and when you blend it in it just basically leaves like a gold shimmer. Yeah, you can't even see it. Um, and it's just so pretty. I love Rubenesque. You can really only wear it with like stuff with like gold undertones, like for Mac eyeshadows. It looks great under um all that glitters, woodwinked, expensive pink. That's really the ones that I own that I find it looks amazing under um for all of her lids, I mean. Um Yeah, that's really the only ones I own and I've tried that I know looks good, but obviously that's not the only three out of all MAC eyeshadows. Um those are just the ones I've tried. But yeah, Rubenesque, I would definitely recommend it for being a first paint pot because it's just so wearable and you can apply it under your eyeshadows or you can just wear it as a cream eyeshadow like if you're on the go um so yeah paint pot rubenesque is a very nice one and the other one i have is bear study which i don't use as much as rubenesque this is what that looks like it's just basically like a pearly tan color um oh and by the way i use paint pots with a brush um because I, don't, I just don't get enough product when I do it with my fingers. But that's what Bear Study looks like. As you can see, it's just very pearly white. And then when you blend it, it just leaves like a white shimmer. <laughs> yeah, and the Bear Study, you can wear it with a little bit more than Rubenesque. With a little bit more, what's the word? You can wear it. <sighs> Never mind. Um, but yeah, because you can wear this under probably every single MAC eyeshadow except matte ones. Matte, if you have a shimmery paint pot, you want to stay away from matte um, eyeshadows because then it just kind of loses the, loses the matte feel and just gives the matte shimmery. So if you're trying to look, go for a matte look, don't use a shimmery paint pot. And they do, both of the ones that I own, they do have shimmer in them. Um, there's a bunch of matte has that don't have shimmer in them. Like, the most popular ones that people get that are matte are Soft Ochre for if you have yellow undertones. 
and your skin and painterly for pink undertones now I am planning on buying painterly soon don't know when soon will be because I am on project pan but yeah once I finish up project pan though I probably will buy painterly but paint pots yes they are worth it Babu Louie one um, they are definitely worth it I would definitely recommend it if you're gonna get one If you're going to get one paint pot for your first time, if you want a shimmery one, go with their study because it's a little bit more wearable with other colors. But if you want a matte one, get either painterly or soft ochre depending on your undertones. Yeah, I think that's, yeah. Um... So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, if you have any other requests, just comment below. And yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.